Ela Masse, Bene Yisrael Sheyotsu, Mirz Yisrael Tsevisam. These are the travelings of Bene Yisrael who had gone out of Egypt, the Tsevosam, according to their hosts and numbers. The Ad Moshe of Yaron, under the supervision, the leadership of Aaron, Moshe and Aaron. Rashi. Why is it important for the Torah to delineate all the various travelings they did over the 40-year period? To inform us, the Chesed Hashem, although it was decreed they should be transported and moved in the desert over this 40-year period, you think they will continue to undergo throughout this 40 year period. And they had no respite. There were only 42 travels over the 40 year period. Same here. Initially, they were 14 before it was even decreed they should perish in the desert. From there, they sent off the spies, Shinemar. Says the people, they traveled from Chatzeros. In addition, there were an additional eight. So we have 14 and an additional eight. Show you, Achim says Aaron. Remember, Rashi Sadi Yushalmi, that there were eight families that were killed because they would have gone back when the Ani Yaakov had dispersed. So the Nei Levi went back to try to bring them back. And there were a number of families that were killed. Yeah, there was a war. Mi'aror. Also, there were more than eight families. They were from a few... Right. Mehor or at Arvis Moab, Bishnas, Haraboim. This was in the 40th year. So it was 14, and they were 8 in the 40th year that. Nibshko Shmonim Shloshim Shono, Lonosa Le Esrim Masos. Over the 38th year period, they only traveled 20 travelings. Zabi Soto, Sharmosha Darshan. You know, it was, it was decreed we should perish over a 40 year period. Right? So how do we always understand it? They're not going to tear itself. Why do they have to travel? Right? Factually, they traveled. Why do they have to travel? She'd say, it seems to be because part of the kapara was, she knew him to told him. Because that's what Torah is going to show. You may think that they were in movement and they were like nomads for 40 years. No. It was only 20, 20 travelings over a 38 year period. So it seems to be that the actual traveling, that was part of the kapora. It wasn't only to perish in the desert. It was the hardship of being uprooted, moved, and continuously, right? So you think it was even to a greater degree? No, it wasn't to a greater degree. It was only 20 because it was the first year 14, less you were 8. Well, first of all, where's that, where's that drush? I don't, I don't, th I don't think it's a midrash. Yeah. No, it's said. No, it's said. When they left, when they left Egypt, till yeah. Rav Tzad Chum Adorish Bo Joshua Acheres Moshe Lamel Shoy Beno Chole. Olicho le mokam rochot le raposo, came shoy chosim, his chil oviv mona kolamasos. That's the reason why it's being mentioned, not to reveal that it wasn't as 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 many as you think. Kan yoshanu, kan okarnu, kan choshash do ezro shecho. But factually, after everything's said and done, what do we need so many travels? What do we need all these? Right? That we're not answering. See, according to the first shot, you could say it was for what? That was part of the kaporo. 
we should be in movement and be uprooted continuously, but it was limited to 42. That was enough. That was enough of a kapara. We didn't need more than than that for a kapara. As Norachaim Akarish explains that it's similar to what Chaim Vladoshin had said. He says in you know in Europe when people went to learn to learn their their uh, the place where they had stayed their location it was called the room they rented was called the Stancia. It was called the Stancia. You would rent a room and that's where you would sleep and you would eat and everything because the yeshivas never had dormitories. So it was a Stancia. So Chaim Vladoshin has said that the last distancia to Kalal Yisrael is America. He says the last stopover is America. And then Mashiach comes. After America, there's no more uprooting of Kalal Yisrael. This is the last stop on the trip. So he explained why. So he says, if you take a look of the migrations of Kalal Yisrael throughout history, we went to certain locations, and we never went back to those locations again. Certain locations. So, like, for instance, the example, the most blatant example is, like, let's say, it's Spain, but recent, uh, Japan and China, right? During the war, there was what? There were, there were 50,000 Jews in Shanghai, right? There was a major Jewish community. The Miri Shiva was there. Afterwards, nothing. I mean, what do you have? We have, we're talking about remnants. Nothing, nothing's there. Why? Well, see, explains, because there are Nitsuitsi Kedusha, there's sparks of, of Kedusha throughout the world. And until we've extracted all that Kedusha throughout the various locations in the world, the world is not ready to reach that level of Shlemus. So therefore, these are the, the last, he says, the Northern Hemisphere, the closer wasn't yet at. So they have to come here. Meant the United States, Canada, that they have to come here. And once we're here for that period of time, then Mashiach comes. Famous word from so Orachim Akur says the same thing here. He says the various locations we have to stop off because there were certain Nitsuitsi Kedusha in those locations that we have to extract. Once we extracted him for whatever period of time, because we find sometimes we're there for a day. Day, then we moved on. A day was enough to extract whatever was there. Sometimes we stay to stay longer. So therefore, that's, that's, that's why the Torah, that's why, because otherwise, why all this, this traveling? It was decreed we should die, just stay in one place, just die in the desert. The answer is no, because we had to absorb this into our neshamas before we were able to go further. Also. Right. Wait, Howard is talking now. You want to hear what Howard has to say? Yeah. Go ahead. It's just a very basic level. That's what happens now. Like, I think it's fully just regardless of where you are. It's, it's true. You're not going to be just as long as people over here. But it's the type of level is regardless of where you are. Hashem is always there. He's never Therefore, advantages. Therefore, but what do we have to travel? What do we need all these travelings? You would think that if you left one place, you would be with your God. And here he's saying, listen, I'm going to be with you for 40 years. I'm going to be right there. All the miracles took place. It was consistent. They, if we weren't one stop, one place, it was with us. We had the Anayah Kavud, we had the Mon, we had the Bear. Miracles. But then we, then we have the issue that if we go outside the boundaries, we have a Rizak of the Sibya Akhir. Or if you do very good work, you have nothing. So here you think, even when you're it's not getting nothing. Nowhere, Exactly. Right, but here he's showing why you got four things. Because Hashem is, is showing you consistently in your entire okay. life he's going to be with you. I, I don't know what Ernie's second calling is, but I know what Howard's second calling oh. is. Let's <laughs> look for a pulpit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 The Yicht of Moshe is Motoeim, the Maseim, Api Hashem. Moshe recorded their events according to their travels, Api Hashem. Ve le Maseim, le Motoeim. How does he explain le Motoeim? According to the Targum, they're traveling according to their le Motoeim. 
where they were removed from. What? Going forth, where they went forth from, the Motsoyim, where they were taken out of. I mean, it's, a double, it's simple. I mean, if you travel, you, you, you're not staying in the same spot, right? If you're on a train, you could say, you know, maybe you're on the same spot. If versus the train, you haven't moved out of the train. Over here, there's a Sifarna. The Sifarna says, Be'elam ha'seim l'motzo'eim. U'lefom mikora l'hepechzeh. Because of gamkin in ha'maso, sh'o yolotze is mimokim ha'mok. Mas means they traveled. B'li ha'gdomas yidiyo. There were times we traveled without even being informed in advance that we were going to travel. Sh'o yizeh kosham ot. All of a sudden, suddenly, you uproot and you have to travel. Chol zeh lo nimnu. Despite the fact they were suddenly informed they have to travel, this didn't in any way prevent them. Right? It's it, it emphasizing the traveling and the and the resting. That's the chaniyo. came a few minutes late. Oh, okay. It was just discussed. Mm. Right, exactly. Look, from Englewood to Manhattan, it's not such a big trip. Okay. Vayichtav Moshe es motzeim maaseim al pi Hashem. Okay, Gimel. Vayisum yu Ramseis b'chod Rishon. They traveled from Ramseis on the first month. On the 15th, this is when we left Mitzrayim. 15th, in Nisan, Nimochres Pesach. This was the morning, right? We had the post Pesach at night. The day after we ate the Pesach. Yotzim Nisan B'yod Ramo Leine Kol Mitzrayim. We left with glory. Leine Kol Mitzrayim. You know, one of my kids for uh, the Bar Mitzvah present many years ago. So this person, his name is Martin Gilbert. He's a historian. So he has a, so he has a, an almanac of the migrations of the Jews. So that was the almanac somebody gave one of my sons. I looked through it. It's very good the way it is. So he has the Jews leaving Egypt. He says, they left under the co cover of darkness as fugitives fleeing. That's what he writes over there. Explicit posuk, right? We left with glory in midday. I mean, we didn't, we didn't, weren't escapees, right? Okay, that's not where he depicts it there and writes it there. And why we're leaving? Egypt is burying the dead that Hashem had smitten their every one of the firstborn. And to their gods, he had brought judgment, right? It says even the animals died. The animals died, the, the, the idols, it was metal, it melted, it was earthenware, it cracked, and if it was wood, it rotted, right? Actually, over there in Chazal. Of course, it describes that there was something unique about it. It describes what happened, why, why, why that was going out. Because you see, it says, when we left, we left the Yod Ramo, Leini Kumitzroyim. And what was going on? So evidently, it's to bring out this, this, this point. Hmm? 
They asked us to leave. They wanted us to leave. They, 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 it says we were driven out. They were dying. Right. Okay, let's see the morale.